I'm Vic Jagger. I'm Miss Porter Did It. And you are listening to Seasoned. Seasoned! Okay, are you done? Never done. Okay. Well, we're going to cover some of our favorite TV show seasons. Tommy, what? Everybody in the audience knows damn well you ain't got no job, man! (laughs) Movies. King Kong ain't got shit on me! And how we viewed them back in the day versus now. Oh, this gonna be good. We're going to get into the scripts they gave us the tea on relationships. The relationship is off. Now get the stepping. To real life shit, y'all. And whatever else we feel like talking about. Mm, we're about to dive in. Okay, you had sung, so I want to sing too. I know. Let's get into it. Welcome, welcome, y'all, to another episode of Season. Season. All right, you had to crank that, <laughs> crank that just soldier boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Jagger, and I'm Miss Porter. Did it? Yes, and we are back. You know, we have been having such a fun time doing this, mm-hmm. and we just want to thank y'all From for the rocking bottom with of us. Our hearts. Yes, we have. One more episode until the season finale. Yep. I can't believe it. I know. It's already here. Yes. So we're going to have to I'm do a right. good. <laughs> we wanna, all right. We're clearing our teeth. We're just <laughs> eating. It's just whatever. Yes. Now we're real comfortable. Yep. <laughs> so we do have one more um, episode until the season finale. And then, um, you know, we'll take a break, but we're not. A little break. We ain't going nowhere. Right, not I too mean, far. Y'all can still check us out on Instagram at Season Podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, one of this was like a requested yes um, review. Yep. We told y'all send us. Yes. Let us know. Yes. And so they're like, you guys gotta do. You gotta do this movie. Really love. Gotta do it. On Netflix. Yep. Just came out. Directed by Angel Christy Williams. Mm-hmm. With Kofi Cerebo. My boo. Yutha Wong Loi Singh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Suzanne Douglas. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. The goats. Michael Ely. Tasha. I was going to call her that. <laughs> Sorry. You already know I was going to call her that. Tasha. St. Patrick. Notori. Norton. Norton. Uh, Tristan Wilds. I thought he was still Mac Wilds. What's the difference? I mean, is that like his performer name? I think or his, he just... Is that like your performer name? You go no. to the Shake Your Booty Club? No, because <laughs> 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 no, I'm like, you know how sometimes they'll change like... You know, when I'm acting, I go by this. But mm-hmm. when I'm uh, singing or performing, I go by this. Because right. I know he had a single. I still have it on my playlist, actually. Mm-hmm. You had uh, Crazy Eyes. Crazy Eyes. Uzo she Aduba. Good. She is a wonderful oh, actress. She is. Like, every role I've seen her in, she has become that person. She like, has. she's I amazing. Really, just keep seeing crazy eyes when mm-hmm. I look at her I because she played that eye. role, yeah. and that's the first time I was introduced to her where I recognized. Her. I'm sure she would have been the vanilla. other thing, <laughs> but now I'm like, Swirl. damn, she did that. Swirl, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was the black. point. The movie. Mm-hmm. So I did not know anything about this film before it came Me out. Neither. Right? I'm gonna tell you so, how bad it was. What? <laughs> I misread the description. So a couple, oh. so a little, a little bit of times in the movie, I thought it said a black panther and it said a black painter. Oh, 50. So into the movie, I was like, where's the panther? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't, is he like, is this from the 60s? in the black panther? And I was like, wait. <laughs> black panther party. not adding up. Right. And then I reread it. I was like, oh. I thought she was talking about a real black panther. That's why I said that. I'm like, what? Okay. Education. Where's the little uh, fairy? <laughs> Press the purple one in the corner. Let's see if that's it. Yep. The cricket. That's I said the cr- fairy. Okay. Get that cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. So. This is taking place in D.C., which was a pleasant surprise for me being from D.C., born and raised in D.C. I was like, oh, this is us. And Mm -hmm. when I say they committed to this, this wasn't like 
you know, 227, where we know it was based in D.C., but, but the only really part you saw was like the beginning. Yeah. Yes. And then it focused on like the capital and some other. No place like there. <laughs> no, I had to do it. <laughs> yes. And then when you saw 227, you're like, oh, this was Sesame Street. Mm-hmm. I actually don't know where they filmed it. Okay. I just said that. This was right. some type of set. Okay. But they showed a lot of the D.C. neighborhoods. I'm talking Landmark. about places I've seen, places mm-hmm. I've been. Yes, the oh, they were on Benny Road. They showed the bus stop on Benny Road. They mm-hmm. showed the Metro PCS. On the set corner of 7th. Okay. They'd be playing uh, the go-go Don't music. Don't mute D.C. That was in the news. Chuck <laughs> Brown Plaza. <laughs> Plaza. And then the accuracy of this art show and U Street. Oh, It just Lord. went yep. <laughs> like, yeah, they got it. You, they got it. Since we, are we going to talk about the D.C. influence on the characters or you just want to talk about the setting? Oh, no, we are going to. Okay. Once we start getting into it, okay. we are definitely going to talk about the D.C. influence that they um, put into the script. Okay. That the characters had to portray. <laughs> portray. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, Kofi, looking like. Isaiah. 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 Sorry, it is Isaiah, y'all. Zay. 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 Isaiah. Hey, Zay. <laughs> so, he's looking like he went to Baloo. Shout out to Baloo. He did. He went to HD. All okay. right. He, he went, went to, to HD, HD Woodson. Yep. <laughs> yep. He went to HD Woodson. That is a high school in Northeast. Um, yes, in Washington, Northeast, D.C. D.C. Yep. Public School. Mm-hmm. Um. And he was an artsy person, which I love me an artsy man. But he was particularly an artsy nigga from D.C. Yes. And that was important. I mean, that's a, that's the cherry on top. Okay. That was important because I feel like they may. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. He didn't was, nail the accent. He, he didn't did have not. the accent. But when I tell you the demeanor mm-hmm. and how slow he spoke and he never looked too ruffled. You understand what I'm saying? And never jumped. Like nope. he he was very um, laid he back. Thought, yes, laid back. Mm-hmm. Yes. I said, this is an artsy nigga from D.C. right here. Still got yes, his little fashions, so. but still very like I'm from the city. He had on some sambas mm. that took me back. Yes. But yeah, like how he talked. And even how they met just yep. at the art gallery, he <laughs> played it cool because that's me. But he, First nah, of all, he wasn't cool to me. I think he played it cool I'm just because of he... the fact he didn't have to go up to her at all. He could have saw Shawty just standing there looking at the at the um, painting. But the other part, so he had he got that demeanor mm-hmm. or swag, as the children say. <laughs> but not, there was nothing cool to lay back about him grazing her collarbone to touch that necklace. He was all I in mean, her that's personal after the face. F- I'm talking about like, like initial, initial, okay. initially, because don't act like you haven't been somewhere looking at something, whether it's at the mall, whatever, and a dude come up, hey, yo, shawty, hey, you looking good, shawty. Hey, Slim, you look. You hear that silence? That's me. Hey, Slim, you. Roscoe, what is it? What do you want, Leon? God, <laughs> Leon. <laughs> I am happy. Stop telling me to smile. I'm happy. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I mean by, like, he kind of played it cool. He, okay. didn't, he wasn't a bammo about it, like, when he approached. So the, <laughs> the scene where, you know, they were all in the club, right, and they're walking into the club. First and foremost, I thought there was Apple Lounge at first. Was I said, it? no, it wasn't. I couldn't figure out. I don't where know where they were. it was, actually. I was like, is that Chicha? Girl, I was like, are they impure? Like, what? No, no, because no, you Chicha. got to go down. I've never been to Chicha. So You've never been to Chicha Lounge? Mm-mm. I've never been to Chicha Lounge. Oh. Mm-mm. Okay, well, I thought it was one of them. Okay. I love that they incorporated local artists. Mm hmm. People that are familiar. Local sound. Local sound. They had Gold Link in there. Yep. Shout out to T.O.B. T.O.B. Uh, they, but was that dancing? the go-go? Bitch, you know I was about to bring hey. up the fact that they're like, okay, so there's a beat your feet dance. And it irritated <laughs> me it, because I'm like, sometimes <laughs> I feel like people don't. Maybe this was the age group of the director. But I feel um, like sometimes there's so many other elements that they can still. It's like you can tell they honed in on one because beach, how long? It's been almost twenty but I, years. But you have to think of well, fifteen what, years at least. But think of what people and people still beat their feet. I mean, it's a whole little. They little, do. 
It's like a whole little um, crew. It's but like the Beach of Feet though, crew. Not saying or that something they like don't, that. Sorry, I, but I'm also trying to figure out. You have to think of what people, how people view DC outside of DC. What so what they outside associate right, with the area. With, with, with that makes DC. sense. Okay, so absolutely. Let me shut up about that, let me be quiet. Okay, absolutely. That makes sense. Because when he started to be his feet, but he looked like he was doing the Ray Lewis. Oh. Um, you know how Ray Lewis used to do I'm like the slide like, like this, <laughs> like the. I said, he is really <laughs> Did he? That really made me cackle because I was like, "What's happening?" Here? But I'm also happy that he attempted. Like he, he did attempted. it. He really was yes. like, well, "This how they be." He committed to this <laughs> role, character. Yes, and I was like, "I like that." But, however, when <laughs> and I think it's just because it's DC, and so you you're from here, so you really know. I'm sure when people see stuff. Like um, raising Canaan or things like that, and they were like, "That is not New York, right? That was not New York back in the day, right? Like, so them, not that it was forced, but I think it was the way it was executed when they use our our sayings, like Colloquial when we say enough. young, yeah, it was real. First of all, it's not young with a G; <laughs> it's young. <laughs> I can't even, I don't can't tell you but how to say it, but soft. the G is soft. It's young. softer, and I'm a telling young. You, I thought that he was calling him that like it was his last name <laughs> because it was too. I was like, and that's the other thing. Mac Wilds, like, Kofi yeah. had the drawl down because, I, you know, mm-hmm. when we first went away to school and people used to say, you all sound so country, country. and southern. And I would be like, really? Yeah. But there are some people from D.C. that when I hear them speak, I'm like, oh, you are definitely DC from the joint. city. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm like, I feel like Mac missed. He missed that part. He didn't mm-hmm. have the draw because it was down. still a like, little New Yorkish. Yeah, he didn't like out. drag out the some of the stuff. But that's why I said Kofi had it down because he like slowed down his. Yeah. What am I trying? What's the word? Dialect? Maybe. Yeah. He slowed that shit down. But anywho, very so. much so. <clears throat> so them like injecting things that would only be for DC, and not that I'm saying that it's force, but it was like mm-hmm. like when they said. We met Mary and Barry, you from Mary, Mary. Mary. I was like, <laughs> so they literally put a list of what it means, what yes, DC, what DC is. is. Oh, wait, Mary and Barry. It was on the whiteboard. Some of your check. <laughs> Young, check. Mo, Mo check. check. <laughs> go, go. Check. Yes. Beat your feet. Yes. Check. Yes. U Street. U Street. Check. check. <laughs> Metro PCS. <laughs> Check. Make sure we get MLK. a shot of that. Check. <laughs> yeah. Marvin Gaye Park. Okay. Marvin's. Check. Check. <laughs> I said, oh, this is some DC. <sighs> oh, gosh. That was so funny to me. Yes. Mary and Barry Summer Youth Program. Because like, <laughs> once I'm telling you, Sharetta oh, had up, told you. Hey, Reddy B. Hey, Sharetta. Sharetta had to point it out to me because I kept saying, is that Isaiah's last name? Young. Oh, that he keeps saying. No, he was really trying. It was just, I don't know. He it was the way, way he, he would was be like, Porter. He was like, right. Young. And He's so, young. You know, because Young has a show. And Young is going, and I was like, Yeah. It's a pronoun. Yes. But and it's almost like, um, I think in Baltimore or somewhere they call each other Yo. Yo, Baltimore. Okay, so Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. Yeah. You remember. I remember. Don't fake. You see I what I'm saying? saying? It I know it's somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> I don't recall, but they used to use their. The terminology, they call me girl, shut your ass. <laughs> you was all up in Baltimore. You see how they do? <laughs> hmm? You got cute real quick. Oh, okay, so at this uh, go-go slash um, showcase poetry slam, I don't know what it was. It was um, it was a go-go. Party it wasn't a go-go. Party. It was a function. It was a, it was a function. It was a function. It was a function. They were at a we function. love a function. Yep. Um, this is the second time that Stevie is meeting Isaiah right. because, of course, they met at the gallery. And there was chemistry. And there was chemistry. So, what? Well, there is a coincidence. Like, oh, her her friend. Her friend. And her friend's boyfriend mm-hmm. is friends with the dude that oh, she met Oh, we at the forgot what to put on the whiteboard. Went to Howard. Went to Howard. Oh, H.U. God, yeah. You know. Okay. We had to put, we had to make sure. And Georgetown. It. And, and they Georgetown mentioned Georgetown Law. Law. <laughs> Whiteboard. Georgetown Law. That was on the right. whiteboard. That was on the whiteboard. So they were at the Get Down Club. Okay. okay? At the Get Down at Club. At the Get Down Club. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, it's like, what you know about Go Go? How you say it? What you know about Go Go? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm like, 
Oh, but the funny part is when they were talking and, and he was getting to know her. Mm-hmm. I want to say I forgot where she said she grew up, but some I, country. Yeah, but but her family was from DC. Yeah, it's like her mom and them was from the city. They probably relocated, did some travel, so she spent majority of her life in like a foreign mm-hmm. land, which would explain her accent. Right, right, exactly, clearly. Because the daddy, see my eyes. okay. But my thing is. Did you did you think that they were at a day party or did they stay out all night? I was First so confused. All, I was like, why beyond. was it day? But that but would also day be party? very DC because I was like, <laughs> where did a day party? Because I'm trying to figure out how it's the middle of the, the day. day. <laughs> I thought it was at night. So but I said, maybe it was a day party. It might have been a day party. That but part you know had confused me. I need to go back because I'm gonna tell you, I've watched this five times. Mm, I saw about two. There's so three. many. Me and Retta watched it maybe three times the weekend it came out right but it made there's so many little things that i realized were said in the very beginning that tied so much together later okay i'll give you an example when she when he um when they first met like in the gallery mm-hmm. and you know notorious was like, mm, what was that? and mm-hmm. then hold on when they met again at the go-go michael ely was like Something, something, they were kind of talking. He's like, something, something, you know her, blah, blah. He was like, man, you looking at her like you want a painter or something. Right. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> that just, it pissed me off because I feel like it made the part at the end less like, oh, he painted her. Because I felt like it was so corny. That see, you, you, you see what you I'm saying? You picked up on that. But that's what I I'm didn't. saying. But what I'm saying is when I, I heard it when I watched it just, at first I didn't hear that part. Oh, I heard that part. And so when I heard but that, I, I was really like, oh, didn't. he said it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then he painted. That's what I was like. But I thought that that was still romance. I, I do. Thought it was, but him saying that. If a nigga painted me, had me up on the gallery, had me up naked on for the, the world to see. summer jam screen. I, All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I say that. Is, I call anything right. a summer jam screen. Anything that's putting anything on blast, Public, yep. I will always say the summer jam screen. Absolutely. So this was the funny part that also probably was on the whiteboard that they have to put in the script. Whiteboard. When he was like, where are you from? She said, D.C. P.G. or D.C. I was like. Whiteboard. Jack. Because we do. Act. That is a real question. It's a battle though. and they're literally across really, the street from each other. It's a real question. Literally I, one side of the I, street can be D.C. and the other can be Maryland. And I still ask. Eastern okay. Avenue. Rhode Island Because if you Avenue, tell me you're from D.C., I'm going to ask. Southern Avenue. Oh, where? <laughs> and if you say Bowie or if you say Fort Washington, then I don't think you're from D.C. I'll tell you, man, I'm from Maryland. Yes. Tania has always said. I have never been that person. Miss Porter <laughs> is going to be from Maryland. Maryland. She a Maryland joint. All day. Yeah, <clears throat> right. All right. So we we got it. their um, full name, Stevie Richmond. What was Isaiah's last name? Maxwell. Maxwell. Yeah. It's a very cute name, too. Yeah. When do you ask the last name if you're dating someone? I thought about this because I'm like, dang, when is it ever a right time? I know <laughs> you are going name? to. Exactly. Because I know you're going to be like, see, you never want to open up. I mean, but if somebody asks me my last name like right off the bat, I'm you like, know why? why? <sighs> about to look me up, nigga. Look Maybe and look me up. <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> Sorry. That was DC Go Go. Shout out the backyard. <laughs> hey. Oh my <sighs> lord. I think now I would just I might be like why while telling you or like what's yours? Okay, I feel like it depends on what you want. If you just trying to yam me, you may not care. I'm mean, just name trying me. to yam me. <laughs> yeah, if you feel, if you just trying to, <laughs> but if you really on some, what's up with you? Yeah, this is the part that did have me chuckling though. Who they cast for Isaiah's dad was DC on point. <laughs> All the way, Baby. accent, his, how he was attitude, talking to him, frying his ass on the low, his ass, but still loving him. Let me find out you like being broke. Hey, hey I, yeah. when he said, "Let me find out," I said they nailed it. <laughs> yes, that was on the white. You could tell his father <laughs> was straight out of DC. He was either straight out of DC or he really mastered like he studied he, but, yeah. somebody to a t yeah but that's why yeah because let me find out took me out let me I find said. out you like being broke <laughs> that's dc all the way yep. so the conversation that 
that Stevie was having with her friend in the coffee shop mm-hmm. when they were talking about the expectations basically of your parents and the expectations that they had, like the expectations and the influence of their expectations. Right. And the things that your parents may put on you because maybe they didn't have the opportunity or whatever, or they're trying to shape. Yeah. They're trying to shape the direction of where you want to go. And she's like, well, you know, I don't know if I want to be a part of this big firm. Right. Cause she was doing nonprofit. Right. And some people love doing nonprofit. I don't think Stevie knew what she wanted. I think that she may have been figuring out the future of it, but at this point, I feel like she, she knows what she wanted to do as mm-hmm. far as like helping people. You know That's what good. I mean? Yep. Okay. Yep. So I want to say that I thoroughly enjoyed Michael Ely and all of his cussing glory. I've never heard Michael Ely cuss that much in a movie. And I was like, hey, Zaddy. You know, I had to get over because I kept saying, is this Terrence Howard? Really? He was giving me very Terrence Howard? Terrence Howard from Best Man. It was like that character, the very, oh, you know, yeah. I talk like this because I smoke cigarettes and I. <laughs> but he definitely See, okay. embodied the old head artist that steps out every now and then you know he still got his he'll go see a band yes maybe around thanksgiving yes you understand? yes <laughs> but still you know he's he an going artist to see he essence. Wanna... <laughs> right now he's going to see the chuck brown band <laughs> he's going to see vibe he is going to the wine fest to see vibe <laughs> that band. he is at a tricky joint oh god yes Yousef, Absolutely. <laughs> Yousef was at the Tricky Entertainment. Absolutely. Yep. <clears throat> Definitely. Tricky Entertainment is this company that throws these really big events. In the area. Seasonally, in like annual events in the D.C. area. Yes, yes. So Stevie and Isaiah uh, decide to go on a date. This is how I knew that they were not from D.C. How? Because of the way she ate that goddamn chicken with mumbo sauce. <laughs> I she do? never. She, she grabbed do? it. She ain't pick it up. And apart. she picked it up by the elbow. But right? she ain't pick it she up. Picked apart. It, she didn't that's what I'm saying. She yep. just grabbed it by the elbow and she just bit the top of the drum part. And it was it was trying not to be messy. Girl, if you don't break that chicken wing apart. Take the skin off first. Yes. Dip that. Dip it. Then eat the chicken and yes. dip it. Yes. There's rules to this shit. Then take the flapper off. <laughs> Take the piece that eat people that. chew. People eat be that. chewing. And I don't then eat the that fried piece. skin. Eat the fried skin after you dipped it in the mouth. Put that to the, the side. side. Then you get to the drumstick. And y'all forgot. Sk- y'all were drinking wine. There's I know no y'all was trying half. to be. Where is the half and half? Where's yep. the Rock Creek peach? Oh, nah, give me. Where is the Rock Creek? I need all Rock Creek products. But look, why did Kizzy keep saying the whole time? Well, what park is that? Just watch the damn movie. You have to tell people who Kizzy is. You can't just introduce people. Kizzy's one of my own girls. (laughs) Kizzy kept saying, what what park? Hold on. We we were like Kizzy. Where is it? Shut We don't know what park they're at right now. Fort DuPont. No, it wasn't. I don't know. It could have been. It could have been Fort DuPont. It could have been. No, not Anacostia. I feel like that was very. Fort DuPont. It might have been Fort DuPont. But I know yeah. they was walking in Georgetown, swinging hands. And Blow what me. did I say? In your, t- in your what fall. What did I say about my fall? In your fall. My fall day. <sighs> swinging hands. With your little leather. With my Starbucks. Yep. In Georgetown. Kicking leaves. Kicking up daisy. I said kicking leaves. Kicking <laughs> that was a nice date, though. But it was such a nice date. It really was. Mm-hmm. And. So they had a whirlwind. It's like they were she, forever yeah. dates. And I love that she was interested in his craft. And when they were at his studio, I would be looking like I am analyzing every That's why I don't understand why stroke. she was on that bullshit. I would because be like, he was a, wow. that nigga was vulnerable and open and artsy and sensitive yes, and, and just affectionate. Fine. I was like, fucking dumb. And he was fine. I see what you're saying. Would I you like it. to paint me? Would you like to paint on me? Right. Would you like to paint on my back? Hmm. A little too far. All right. Let <laughs> me get my cricket. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all should see me pointing at the board. Press the button right now. That goes. Would you like to paint on my back? 
<laughs> would you like to paint my back? <laughs> yes. On my back? Yes. In my back? What? Mm. Okay. Oh. So, yes. There was the stop, the stare, the analyze, the hows, the wows, and all, all of, that. of that. So, he like, damn, she in the But here room. is where my draws. Here in life. Would have left the building, mm-hmm. and when I say the building, I'm talking about housing my ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> would have left my drawers. Would have left the building yes. when she said, "How do you know when it's finished?" And he said, "How do you know when you're making love to someone?" Kofi, how do you know? Stop playing with me, boy. Who are you talking to, baby? That she was like, but that's why I said she was on that bullshit Yo. because my man was from the jump. He wasn't hiding his attraction. He was diver- He was saying all of that shit. And you know what? And I and just been, a, y'all should see Vic in here gazing and smiling. I, she ain't <laughs> saying shit because she's smiling. I <laughs> love a creative man, okay? All of this gave me the feels. I put myself, you know a movie is good when you put yourself in their shoes. In that character shoes. But that's why and she how couldn't I do would nothing have, with him. That shit would have been like ghost. I'd have been painting on a old mind. You know how I do pottery. <laughs> but she but this is why I say she couldn't deal with him because look at how he was offering up. Like he was being just all of that shit off the jump. Like he wasn't he didn't leave her room to question anything. Yeah, he was just letting it flow. Like mm-hmm. let it flow. Mm-hmm. Let it go. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta let it flow, let it go and be a hoe. Cause I would have fucked it right. <laughs> let me stop saying that. Cause I think I say that with all the fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, Kofi, that type of directness though. Yeah, and you huh? know, even after he got the cheeks, okay, and all the chocolatey fineness that he embodied, he was inspired as fuck after that. Remember he, he, he got couldn't. To it. He couldn't really find she inspiration like for missing. his next project. I need more. It was given. I need more. And he sent her that damn painting. He sent her. That's the what painting. I'm saying. I would have been like, and all the innuendo. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you heard my prayers. You gonna come hang it for me? You gonna come hang it for me? Does it hang, sis? Now we talked about when it hangs. <laughs> <laughs> and how you? Does it hang low? Does it walk to the flow? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you throw it over your shoulder? Can you throw it over your shoulder? Like a condom. Like a <laughs> Fellas, do you hang low? <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right, so the dates, the paintings, the PDA. I love that compilation of their dates. Let me say that. Yeah, I loved different to places. See, I, yes, they were, I think they them. were. I wonder if they were at shopkeepers. I, I would love to know the locations. There's one place I was like, is that shopkeepers? Yeah. It's really cool, like boutique style. Yeah, uh, a lot you know of what different. Shopkeepers is? Mm-hmm. So I was like, I wonder. I, I would love to know the different places that they yes. use. But um, they, yeah, they, they, of so course you did. had to have Ben's Chili Bowl on the whiteboard. Definitely had to have Marvin. I was like. I mean, these are the places that people know that they associate with the city. Yes, mm-hmm. but I love the display of affection, um, and I would love to see more of that. Yeah. Like you know, the forehead kiss took me but out. Just like everything. That's what, yes, he, but that's I love what I'm it. saying. He had the same energy from jump from yes. the beginning. He ain't let up. Here's where oh, I was like, the fingers all right, up, y'all. All right, y'all. The fingers up. Now I know they're not from D.C., Maryland, or. Virginia. Virginia. By how they were eating crabs. I said, none of these people at this table. Where's the, y'all leaving me in them crabs? Where's the sauce? She was caressing the crab First of leg. All, but when he was feeding her. I know. You see how they were like. <laughs> Look, my mouth was. Like, <laughs> 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 and y'all know what face we making with that sound. <laughs> <laughs> I was so. They both had to look like, oh, y'all go together. But when he said, I've known Young for a while, that that's right what, there, but that's, that's what, what made I, me it was, say, is that his last name? What? It was just even the cadence. I've known Young. That don't even, like. That's not how it would be used. 
I've known Slim young. for a while. Yes, very much so. Very much so. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've known Slim for yeah. a while. Me and Young ain't go way back. Like, it could be something like that. But I've known Young. That's why I was like, is his last name Young? Like, why is he <laughs> saying it like that? <laughs> Girl. Mac Wiles was just really, he he was on one. Really, Mo? <laughs> no, that's what I said. They really, check. I said Mo was on the board. <laughs> because they really tried really, to just Mo? embody the stuff that we say here. Like, I get it. For somebody that's not yeah. from here, though. To hear it in conversation. That's what I think. It wasn't conversational. But I get it. I get it. Embodying DC language lingo. Mm-hmm. Check. Got mm-hmm. it. But supporting your man's at his art show, mm-hmm. always a plus. Mm-hmm. It really did um, put things into perspective, even in the creative world, when he had the white counterpart, the white guy who was on his second solo show, and he. Isaiah was still trying to, trying to make one. it, trying to get something. But in, in the, his classmate, who happened to be a white man, yeah. having his own show, he was on Isaiah. Like, this was the best like, one I in our class. I, like, exactly. Like, and how you get a show with her? Right. He wanted a show with uh, Crazy Eyes. I cannot think of her name. Shanae. Shanae. Sorry. He was wanted a Shanae? show with Shanae. Shanae. Her. Should we have said <laughs> Should we have said her name, right? <laughs> Shania. He yeah. had a project. But yeah, that was another thing. But she was right. That's why I said the tide. Oh, but when the Shania. tide changed. Because they oh, were rocking for each other. They were in it to win it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everything seemed cool. Until- but you know what? I also, I respect Shania. Mm-hmm. I respect her. Because what a black woman is always going to do is make you put your best foot make you forward. Better. Yep. And push you to be great and she when she like, looked at more. it she was like it's good but you can do better than this yes you can you can do better yep and he did absolutely and a black did. woman would push the greatness out of you but he also okay. took it he wasn't offended mm-hmm. he took it and i'm telling you i fooled this with isaiah a, this whole the whole movie this was a turning point because if we haven't really established what our relationship is and we're out together and I'm supporting wherever it's a work function or whatever and mm-hmm. I just come to it and mm-hmm. you introduce me as your girlfriend. We're going to slide off real quick. We're going to slide off real quick. I'm your real fast. <laughs> if I was your girlfriend. Mm. You call me your girlfriend. I, I, he was like, man, she I got other shit going on. The like, way I she got, reached for I the J. A, was it a J? I thought it was a cigarette. No, that looked like a well. Anyway, Sinai. so then we get to the mm-hmm. meeting of the parents. So they have established. It's probably a couple months have gone by. They've been in a whirlwind, right? Yes, they've they been have. In a they moved together. They moved in together. Which hmm. I think he was like, "Do you think we're ready for that?" She wanted it. She wanted it. They moved in together. But These that was key. a very valid These question. Are These are key. She wanted it, and he asked for clarity. Like, you sure sure that's what you want us to do? Because of my work, what I do, we just we just starting to rock for real, for real. So she wanted, yes, okay. But her mother off the break. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, it is. I said, oh, I know what we're dealing with. All right, yep. That's when you already know what the tone. What time it is? You know what time it is. But you already know my face was turned up. He said, you got a firm grip. Where you from? Southeast. Southeast. Well, that explains the grip. I said, really? Huh? Really? What? Y'all white not board. gonna keep whiteboard, Southeast. Yep. Make sure we say he from Southeast. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Whiteboard check. So they mentioned that. So before they go in, nobody knows. I don't want anybody to know. We're good. And this is so funny because people say, I know what you about to say. Time. I know what you about to say. I hope you bought something over there because you know they building. Because you know, you know they coming. They coming. <laughs> You, you know, know they, they come. I know you didn't bought something know, over there. This is an assumption that this man even got the <laughs> coin to purchase. Because surely anything. no one would be dating his daughter. They can't afford to buy a house in D.C. Right. Except right. You didn't even just buy your house, sir. You're not even paying what we got to pay. Right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Anywho. So basically, when they found out that they were living together. They felt away. When I tell you that Blair... The Blair stare. Blair underwear. That's what I call him. You call him underwear? Blair underwear. Why? <laughs> <laughs> underwear. 
Because he Why? fine. <laughs> Why? Because he fine. The blast stare. He gave her the death stare. In your house? Oh, y'all move. But and hold he- on. But he's also looked. And then Isaiah's looking at her like, you You just told me on the other side of this door that you ain't want them to know. No, but she. Now, as soon as you feel like you about to piss them off. Yes. Now it's a, she a was trunk kind of being call, back a joker. Into the, you want to throw it out there and like, I'm trying to mock y'all. Like, and now he's sitting over there like. But no, the mom was kind of fishing, too, because she's like, how do cool. y'all, how are y'all going to have time to spend with one another? If you guys like, like he's a painter, there's no way he can. But that's why I said that's where the demise started. Yeah. Right there, cause he like you use that shit when it was comfortable. Right. Now you got me out here looking. I been I asked you before I moved in. Did you show us what you want to do? First, you don't want them to know because you you embarrassed or uncomfortable, whatever. Now you want them to know, and I'm just sitting here looking stuck and stupid. I don't even think broke. she wanted them to know. I think that in an effort to validate her relationship, right? And like, no, we are going to be spending time together. We are getting to know one another or whatever well, she could have left it at that she, she could have just prove something yeah but then i feel that isaiah should have addressed it if he was feeling a certain way because what you're not going to do is get mad and then your car declined at the gas station now but, hold up wait a minute but that, but that goes to all of what he's probably like man i knew mm-hmm. i shouldn't have just that's why i asked you mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so now here we are so that's right. when everything starts happening because now he feel like Oh, they really, they, her parents think I'm a broke nigga. I'm feeling like I'm a broke nigga. I'm uninspired. So now mm-hmm. he started going extra hard working mm-hmm. because he got something to prove. Because you also and didn't tell being, me your but parents he's also was even. being snappy. Staying, spending more time at the him. studio. Um, then at home, he's stressed all the time because he's trying. It's almost like when you, because her parents made him feel less than. Mm-hmm. And so now I got to prove and I got to work harder and I got to make sure I have something to show for this. Yep. Because now they watch man, Right. I'm a they man eyeballing. and I moved in with her and now I got to prove instead of just that I'm man being. Enough. Yeah. Instead of just being. If, but that's hard when you already doubt in yourself because ain't shit moving. Wasn't nothing really popping for him. He was getting right, there. But that's but. where a support of significant other comes in for sure as well for sure because you never like if somebody moves in with you you never want them to feel like it's mine yep. and you're moving into my shit and this is my my mine because yeah i would feel like well shit what am i even here for right but if you were welcoming them, supporting them and what they're doing and trying to get them to a certain, it shouldn't matter. My point is, it shouldn't matter what anybody says outside of y'all fucking house, really. Thanks. It's about how y'all support one another. I believe that too. Right. So he gets a solo show. Mm-hmm. But before the solo, show, well, he got the solo show. Yes. That's how, that's when he started really going in. Yeah. Because once he got it, he had to really make sure he had his pieces in order. Well, yes, he had to make sure that he had all of his work his and work. it's and it has to be up to a certain standard because, certain you quality. know, Shania don't play that. So he is always focused. at the studio. He's never he's very focused, focused so much on his work that he missed a big night, which was a double date with, with Stevie her parents and her parents and her parents. And, and that was all they needed. Okay. That was all they needed. And that's when the the other part that's of the where demise the shift came. happened. Because the first shift happened, he started acting different. After, after that moment, dinner. after the dinner, he started acting a little funny. But his was still, it wasn't necessarily passive aggressive. He just started really getting into his work. Hers was more, I think the disdain was more like a more obvious situation where she could have spoke up. Like yeah. that, that was more of a, well, how the, the situation at her parents' house with him could have been more of a, well, how did you perceive this? But him, I feel like she should have nipped that in the exactly. bud in the first place because that is what led to him. Everything else. Feeling the way that he did and, and so all of that. So now he's extra focused on his work. He got the show. He really got to make this happen. So now he's quote unquote so caught up in his work that he forgets about this appearance. Had Stevie outside wondering. Am Where I his tripping? ass was. Am you I said, tripping? Had Stevie wondering. Uh, Stevie. 
Stevie. I have been waiting wondering. to say that, and you're you going to. You're going to acknowledge Stevie it. Had Stevie wondering. Had Stevie wondering. <laughs> and then from that point, that's when I think she made up her mind like, oh, I'm going to Chicago. This nigga don't give a fuck about me. I feel like that was Absolutely. the moment that even if Chicago hadn't come up yet, that was the moment she made the decision like, I'm not even about I'm to I'm not put- committed to this. But, so she already felt that way mm-hmm. in addition to her mother then bringing up the story about the person that she was in love with and letting her know, you know, don't don't love nobody more than they love you and this is how men really are and trust me and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So now she goes with all of this after she talked to her homegirl too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Isaiah having talk and spend time. They put everything into perspective. They was basically like, "Girl, you tripping? Girl, like, you know, first he's of all, working. Tasha was this is giving, big. but you know how your mother is. That's what Tasha was like. You, you bro- know, no, and he's broke, and you brought him to your parents around house. your parents. <laughs> like you don't know. <laughs> and she was just looking stuck, like uh, you know, and your the parents other thing, are black on. and bougie. But she also made a good point. He. You, he doesn't need your help and he doesn't want that from you. Mm-hmm. All he wanted was a girlfriend. She felt like, and I think that's sometimes, ooh, Tania, I think sometimes that's what you do. Like, that's your way of showing love or care. Like, you overly, I'll help, I'll do. You understand right. what I'm saying? When he just wanted her and to be his girl because it didn't, him being an artist didn't stop him from being thoughtful and effective. You understand what I'm saying? He still when took her on dates. to men. Mm-hmm. They do not, men do not, from my experience with men, they are providers, number mm-hmm. one, and they they don't like help in a sense of... I don't need charity. I don't need training wheels. But I also don't want your charity. Let me figure out how to ride this bike on my own. Let me figure out the solution first. Mm-hmm. And if I come to you and say invent like man you know i've been having a hard time da, 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 da. but don't always i think sometimes women we're such nurturers that we always want to insert ourselves and fix it and, and take and, over and yes when a man Mother. is just trying to make his own way but he also sometimes has to that's the lesson for him where he got to figure that shit out right you understand what i'm saying yeah so i felt like we were sitting outside for a minute mother <laughs> yeah. anyway so he comes home after mm-hmm. he's missed it, you can see that you can see the disappointment in her parents. You can see the change in Stevie's demeanor immediately. Right. He comes in. He already realizes he fucked up. I wonder mm-hmm. when he realized he fucked up. Was it when he saw her face? Was it did he realize why he was there painting? Whatever. He comes home, and what does she do? Oh, it's it's, it's okay. Some <laughs> bullshit ass response, and he's like, okay. They go eat, she cooking dinner, and everything goes about. But this whole time, it's a snowball effect. Like, you can tell that this shit is gnawing at her. You can tell it's changing how she acts towards him. And he's still just mm-hmm. like, yeah, I got this show coming. He all hype, has no clue. They're not even that on the same page right now. That is it right there. Right there. Mm-hmm. That scenario. What? Where this man is going about his business He's excited for what's to come. And she, and she feels a way, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at both sides here because I get it. But you're, you're so excited about something that's coming up in your life, life changing situation. And you just, you can feel when somebody is being passive aggressive, you can feel that negative energy, even when they're not doing anything per se, like mean or negative or snappy mm-hmm. or anything. But you just know because that they just, that mood, their mood, it's like a gray cloud, right? Mm-hmm. But in her shoes, I would think that I do have a problem with it. But how can I tell him he's going to the studio so much and we're not spending time and he's changed? And I think that you got to say same? it. And I think you got to figure out how to say it. That's it. Because it leads to this. It leads no, to the dumb it shit. Does. She didn't really. Now she. And again, not only did she spiral, relocate, she met another nigga, a corny one. She met another nigga. A corny one. And took him to the damn art gallery. And guess who pulled up on her ass and she couldn't even fucking say. I, 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 I know. So now, now that's like, different. That? Now that's different for me because I'm like, this is Wayne. <laughs> and this is Kevante. Okay. How do you guys know each other? <laughs> friends now huh? that was one i definitely am the that's my friend but all that energy that's, that's why i said she fumbled because 
he was so nothing about what she did made him like recoil. He never stopped giving her the same energy. Like she, that's why she ain't know what to do. She was still there with another yeah. nigga. He looking her right in her face. All that chemistry. Yeah, he, he ain't even acknowledged this the man. The down, but right. he didn't even acknowledge uh Byron. Byron. Now that is Julian. definitely pick Julian. one. You see, Julian. he had a he, he, more Julian. He had no shape up. I'm telling more you, more Julian. He had that comb mm-hmm. back. Anyway, mm-hmm. so. From that, that point, pet. he had that little pet. From that point, big and pet. <laughs> but when you see your old joint looking nice, damn, you be like, hmm. Nah, Kofi fine. Fuck that He's looking fine nice. Kofi him. was I'm looking saying, like. Listen, you but know. But he couldn't have he gave me all that energy, though. He, he gave was, her all that energy. Man, listen. But when she he took still that ass feels, back to DC, he still feels away. She still it wasn't like the feelings went away, and they never it wasn't had any a closure. Beef. Yeah, there was no closure there. And then let me tell you how closure gets your ass in trouble. Now, there you go. closure, mm-hmm. closure, closure. Take your clothes <laughs> off. Closure, make you take your clothes off. Okay. <laughs> I did work for that one, y'all. <laughs> I worked for that one. Closure. Close y'all. <laughs> closure. You may want to close, close off. your legs. Before you but, close off. <laughs> <laughs> now. Because that situation. Okay, so when they rekindled and the feelings were there. That's when she went back. This was yes. Chicago. She went to go visit in D.C. She went to, Remember, she went to go meet him at the bar. Yes. Mm-hmm. From that point, this was my favorite part of the movie. When he looked her in the face, because I was like, this was pivotal. Because typically in black love stories, unfortunately, they don't. it doesn't go this way. Right. He grabbed her, looked her in her face, and was like, I'm in love with you. I'm in love. I was like, nigga, send for my what, things. Though? Send for my things. But it wasn't, I don't think it hit with her. And trust and believe if he would have said that, we listen. He did not say, no, don't go. But she he, also. He never looked at her in her eyes, in her soul. That wasn't even, that was past the eyes, like we locking eyes. He looked <laughs> he at her soul. Her but he did. She knew said, how he felt. He was I'm, very vocal. He was affectionate. That's why I was like, she was on that bullshit because he never, he kept the same energy the whole time. But this was, so even from the beginning, he was upfront and direct with her, like any way he felt. She never had to guess that shit. That's why I was like, I thought it was corny. But, it, but she did. I don't think so. I think so. After that whole situation with the family, that's when his energy changed and he was on some other stuff. So while he may have done that and gotten mm. her used to how he communicates and how he shows love, mm-hmm. after that dinner, all of that changed. He wasn't she coming home like at him that. Differently. In his mind, he like, oh, I got to get my shit together. But I think because definitely he, in a way of like, I got to make sure I'm on point. I think that she took it as, oh, he about to play with me. He took it as, oh, I got to make sure I'm on my shit. He was embarrassed mm-hmm. sitting at that table. And they never addressed it. And that to a man and his ego or as a man, and you didn't even speak up, say nothing. I know situations with people who have let their parents their father or their mother mm-hmm. whoever influence the person that they were dating disrespect them for say sure. something to them and they never addressed it and that changed that can the, change how sure. you look at that person I, and i, I think agree. after that he looked at her kind of he still loved her but that was their change feelings. yeah it's almost like i gotta take a little step back a little bit because so then, you didn't even okay so then we fast forward yes y'all slept together man he pulled the waist beads off. What? You understand what I'm saying? So y'all got it in, and he's telling you, and this is clearly like, you don't even have the same chemistry with Slim at the museum. Like, let's be right, real. Right, so right, So you see, and this is where Cinderella, Tania, comes in. Mm-hmm. Because you you going to do me like that, then say that? Send for my things. <laughs> I'm not yeah. leaving. Yes, you're a boo. That's all you wanted anyway. Stop faking. That's what she wanted. She wants that, but I think that she didn't want it to have to get to a point of, oh, now you realize that right, now so you want to say we are. it. Now. Yeah. Right. So yeah. at this point, here we are. I'm at a gallery. 
And I see, because I'm like, you should have said, she. well, she's like, you should have said that before I left. You should have, da, 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 da. And she went on about her business. But when she saw that painting. Yeah, she felt, I think that it confirmed everything. Because I'm going to tell you, he did all of them. That's what I'm saying. My but man it did was not vocal. translate. You, you keep on saying that. It didn't sure, translate you, to her. It didn't translate you. to her. Because you're, you're, you keep saying that he was. You know, he was doing all that but up until was. a certain point, and then it shifted. He wasn't doing that when he was spending long nights. He wasn't doing If he loved her and showing her how much, how you say it, he would have showed his ass up at that double date, even un- as uncomfortable as it probably would have been. He probably was like, man, fuck that. I'm not going. He knows how much that would have meant to her, the person he cares about. He did not show up. So a lot of this, he showed her love and he was it didn't telling count her. Because it didn't show up when it counted. Is that what you're saying? I feel like it shifted. So it could be, this is my chance. I have a solo show now. Absolutely. I really got it. But that's why I say it. But I still but he don't stopped. think it was. He pulled back. I from think, what they were used to doing. Yes, absolutely. It wasn't no more dates and swinging hands. Okay. And they he wasn't doing the same things. And I think she felt neglected because she was so used to that. But so when instead things of shifted, saying it, right. she went to Chicago. Right. And she was like, oh, nah, I'm not going to be here and get my heart broken. So instead or of do- saying that, it now falls on, well, you didn't tell me not to go to Chicago. Though she didn't say 500 things. Right. She could have said, right. this all boiled down to, you didn't tell me not to you go to Chicago. That's why I thought she you was on that You didn't fight bullshit. for me. You didn't fight for me. But that was the real tea. Because she, I think she probably felt like fighting for her was also, we stopped date nights. We ain't do the stuff we used to do. And I also felt like he was fed up with her shit, too. And he yeah, was he like, fed up with her dumb are shit. you going to go? We'll go. Yeah. Like, he called her bluff. Like, all right. Just go. like Nina was like, I'ma just let Nina thought she was gonna go check on her so and so, and Darius was like, mm-hmm. "Oh, all right, go ahead, see what's up, oh boy." Now nah, go ahead, cause I'ma tell you, see that right there called your bluff, and now you got to commit to to your bullshit. Keep, keep on going, you just go. Out. You're out. You're rather in than yeah. Why wouldn't you say something? Because then the argument I have heard was very good argument. Like she already made her mind up about going because all of this stuff been festering. We ain't had a conversation mm-hmm. about none of the stuff bothering you. So your I think she made up your her conclusion he... was to relocate. We ain't had one conversation about right. none of this shit. So your instead of talking about it with me, because you talked about it with your friends, right? Instead of talking about it with me, you came to the conclusion, and now you're relocating, and now this turns into well, you didn't stop me. I think their communication was just broken down because he really wasn't trying to hear. For her to say that, mm-hmm. knowing that he was getting ready for a show, in his mind, he's like, you know what I'm doing. You know how, what it took for me to get here. You know what I'm preparing for. But she's more like, you're neglecting me. You're a neglecting relationship. You're changing. You're not doing the same thing. So it was just that. And I think she made up her mind. How do I until fit she into see, that? Until she sees that he painted the biggest piece of his career about her. And that's why yes. I was like, take your foot out your mouth, Stevie. Nah. I think it was just more of like... The I love you. That was the effect of what should have been the looking into your soul mm-hmm. saying I love the you. The painting was the, the one that really was made it. her be like, oh, this nigga really loves Yes, me. yes. That's that's what I thought. And maybe that's what he realized yeah. he had to do. Because remember when, yes. so this is a part that I really enjoyed when, um, I'm going to call him young. Because that, Mac Wilde. Uh-huh. When he came by to see him after that time passed, right before his big show. Oh, he show. knew he was hurt. But th- I'm going to tell you, I didn't think that he painted her naked, but I was like, he must have painted her because they were being very intentional about like, I knew not it. showing once he, it. But once he said, you really yeah. miss her. Yeah. But, but before that part, I was like, they're being too intentional about not showing this big, big ass <laughs> masterpiece. Yeah. But I like how there wasn't a detailed convo, but that was a vulnerable moment between friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like He, he was really didn't like, have words after he was like. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's how it be. They be like, damn. All right, then. All right, nigga, stay up. I'm going to let you go ahead. <laughs> so, right, yeah. Hit me up. I mean, low key, don't, but hit me yes. up. Because he like, I don't, yeah. So I love how that was like, they had that very, that was very manly. I yes. think like a very manly, vulnerable moment of like, damn, that's your, all right, that's the one. And then, yeah. I enjoyed it. So what do you think? Okay, so mm-hmm. the ending, 
Some people were happy, some weren't. But what do I you, wasn't happy. What could have been an alternative? Give me your alternative ending. And oh, I they would have got back together. You no, I'm a hopeless romantic. I wanted her to look at that painting and him to be behind her, and she not know it. But then he come up behind her, her and he's like, "Yes," and he's like, <laughs> "You like it?" That and hot, she bro. toot that ass back and be like, <laughs> "I do." Like that's the type of shit that I that Maybe I would have wanted to have. Pulling her. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. Yes. I think I, I go back and forth because I enjoyed how it ended because of all that you said painting represented for him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. it, for me, I said it completely shut her up because it was just like, damn, he meant everything he said. Like, I mm-hmm. know how much. He loves painting. I know how much he puts into this. This is his biggest show. This is his premiere. This is his premiere piece. And, and look at me. what he chose to do. And it's me. So I feel like a lot of the moves she made, and it could have been her being insecure of herself because she didn't really know what she was doing in her own field. But I feel like yeah. the insecurities in general had her constantly questioning how he felt. That's why I say no matter what he said to her, mm-hmm. she didn't really believe it because she just wasn't in the space to really accept. That's why I was like, there's nothing that he could have really said because there were so many ways, though you are absolutely correct, leading up to the uh, the dinner the dinner, and after he missed the ballet. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he did all of that. I feel like he did all of that. He was and she vocal. was good. He was, but I, I feel don't like think she was. She, I think that she was good. She was in love. She wanted that. She he was, broke her. He broke the the dependability. She felt I think like he. he could, I think he broke. He he disrupted the frequency. Mm. He mm. disrupted the frequency that that they <sighs> were on at the time. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, you know, I'm just. You know, Beyond <laughs> but he did. I love it. Like when you are, you're vibing and y'all are on the same frequency. Y'all and he disrupted, but they didn't come out. Like sometimes you guys check in. They didn't do them yeah. temperature you need checks a because tune-up. they need. They should have talked about Absolutely. that dinner situation. I know yes. he wanted to be like that. Is you the, just said that is the turning that was the point right there that started it all. Yep, and he would have been just. But been why like, didn't she? She could have initiated that conversation. Well, she could have. Because she but was I feel like she was. She felt awkward. Like it was. It was definitely an awkward conversation. Those are her parents. But they, if I'm you're not on the way ch- home when they were in the car, she they could have talked or even that night. It could, but they could have talked. They like could I have. feel like she should have initiated that because she was the one that initiated just on the other side of the door. Okay, look. They don't know. Basically, right. keep this between us. And then when it was convenient for you, now we've completely switched to something else. It she just like came get, out and, and just Right. I'm like, are you going to get it? A, a, so, it a yeah, signal? it should have been you know like, you know, my bad. I, my mother was poking. Thank and you. I, and that's why I said and she then She would have understood trust. because he would have been like, well, you know what? Now I know I got to get on my shit. So I'm going to be in the studio a little bit more. But he probably I felt still, like she dismissed me or she's ashamed of where we are right now, where I am. Like, right. Man, yeah. fuck that. So <laughs> all in all. He couldn't have told me I'm in love with you. And you, I definitely. You're not going to look me in my face. In my soul. And grab my shoulders. Mm. Mm. Mm, Want to be starting something. Mm. <laughs> so I hope you guys. Listen, really enjoyed, and really share loved. With us, for Let real. Let us know your perspective. If you I've agree, heard, you disagree. I've heard mixed reviews. I have too. Plenty. I would love I to too. hear. I want My to only hear. like little criticisms were just like how they injected DC Our in culture. there and it seemed a little forced. I'm going to watch it again. Within the script. You know that. After yes. today. I now have to watch it again. I met Young. We set. I met I met Young a while ago. <laughs> like we don't. Talk and like Murray that. and Murray. The Murray and Murray <laughs> Youth Program made me laugh. I laughed at that for the longest because we shout out to the Murray and Murray Youth Program. Okay? Murray and Murray and Murray. They had me down at the Department of Justice. That but, was like my first government job. But the fact, what nothing. Okay. Because I had I still have got, so much. No, I'm like I, mean, I know so we, much to say. I know y'all. We this one definitely. Went a little long, but... Do you think it was a love story still? I do. It was an open end. We need closure. Mm. We need closure. And they left it open so that... We could know, talk. Really we could, love. We could come to the pod. Really love, too. <laughs> we could come to the pod and talk about it. 
Yeah. You know what it reminded me of a little bit? Love is. Yeah, I love love is. It reminded me of love. We could definitely talk about that. And what's the other show that Oprah had with Gently? Who? What's the? Oh my God! I'm gonna find it. It's this other show that Oprah has on own, and it had the guy, Dewanda Wise's husband, and they. Mm. Oh my God! I'll think of the name of the show. Okay. But it's another great show. Cherish the day. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh my God! You gotta watch it. Okay. Oh my God! You have to I watch will, it. I will check it out because each it's like each series is a maybe like a, a episode a season focused on a different couple's love story oh okay it's really gotcha. good cherish the day is good so what well, we could do that you gotta watch I that definitely, i'm gonna find the like, link love is is we could talk that about was it. my we gonna have show to talk about it. i'm gonna have to write over somebody Shit. i was What's i was swinging like boys in the hood it's on um is it all black i think it's on all no, black. no i mean like What's going on with it? Like, are they considering are they bringing it at back? all for bringing it back, or is just they dead? may bring it back though? Because I know that they made a big deal about it being on another network, um, mm. and you know everything going on with Mara, and Mara's husband. husband. But um, hopefully, they do bring it back because I'm I miss that show so much. It was so good, okay. and I feel like we got well, invested, we'll and they just took it. Well, we'll find so. it. Yes. Y'all watch Really Love. Right, y'all. Give us some feedback. Yes. Follow Let us. us know. Make sure you subscribe, you share, download, Leave all of that good stuff. Leave a review. Hit us up on Instagram at Season Podcast. Season. Yes. And until next week, where it will be our season <laughs> finale. Yes. <laughs> that was my first time ever doing that. I should have waited to the last it's one. It's okay. I felt good. I yeah. felt it was the moment. It was the moment. Um, so, yes. <laughs> Thank y'all and bye. Bye.